what's going on guys today we're going to talk about multiple things we're going to talk about which Glock mags are the best and about the gun shows that have been going around you know how busy they've been you know so first we're going to start off with the Glock thing so first off we got a factory Glock 19 mag holds 15 rounds guy goes up and down then we got a mag pool I want to get more of these they're actually pretty cheap, cheaper than a flat three. This is a $40 mag. This is a $16 mag. It sold 21 rounds. See, it's been heavily used. Um, followers goes down. Now this, uh, this is a RWB 33 round Glock 19 mag. I had this thing loaded for about three or four months because I didn't shoot after everything started going crazy, you know, the start of summer. Haven't shot any nine mil since then. Shot plenty of shotgun, but that's pretty much it. Follower goes down. Um, I did have problems with this, not because it was loaded up all the time, but when I started reloading it, it's one of those cheap mags where the follower gets stuck and stuff. So I got this mag for it was either five or ten dollars at a gun show when they were trying to ban high capacity mags so i just like this mag i wasn't gonna sell it just to get another p mag but you know i actually like this mag how it looks in the gun sticks out would show you it in the gun all these mags in the gun but you know can't do that because youtube would not like that we're already at two minutes so yeah don't get these rwb mags they are terrible they're probably made in China. Actually made in Korea. Get a P mag. This is a 21 rounder. It only hangs out the gun like that much. Or get a, just always go with factory mags. Don't go with um, pro mag or any of those. So now we're gonna go into the gun shows. So I know these people are trying to make a living. But you should not be selling 50 rounds of 9 mil for uh, $50. A dollar a round for 9 mil. That is outrageous. And then you're telling um, 223 is a dollar a round, 308 is a dollar a round. 22, guys. 500 rounds of 22 cost $50 now. $50. And I feel like we're back in the Obama days with 22. Can't find that crap anywhere. If you find it, you better get it down. It don't matter how expensive it is in the store, buy it then, because it will be gone. Don't matter if it costs 50, 80, or $100, it's gonna be gone. So if you find ammo and you don't need it, still buy it, because you never know what can happen. All the factories can just shut down because of COVID got bad or whatever. Just, you know, stock up on what you can if you can't afford it, just, just sit at home. Don't shoot in the ammo that you got like I'm doing. I haven't shot in a while. I shoot my shotgun. That's because I can find those rounds easy around in here because I live in the country. But um, I haven't shot 9mm or 22 in almost six months since it started. So, yeah, I've been shooting. I just practiced with my airsoft gun today. So I won't get be all rusty, you know, when we get back into shooting, you know. So, yeah, just don't buy the RWB mags unless you don't care if it stops. I mean, if you it stops, just hit the side of the gun and it goes right back up. It does hold 33 rounds, which is crazy. 33 rounds in 9 mil. Uh, I thought someone was pulling up. Uh, yeah. I'll show you. Mm, nah, I'm not gonna do that. So please like and subscribe. See you next time. Um, yeah. Please like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.